My name is Bob Garashi, and I founded NJCDC 17 years ago because I wanted to make a direct difference in the lives of people less fortunate than myself. I've been lucky to work with a lot of talented and committed people who have helped to build NJCDC over the years. And we've been blessed with supporters like you who provide the funding we need to do our work. Our work spans a number of different areas. We do a great deal of work in the area of education. We operate a preschool for 105 three and four year olds, which we call the Patterson Family Center. Just like their counterparts in the suburbs, these young kids get the head start that they deserve. We started the Community Charter School of Patterson to give 500 inner city youth an educational alternative. Our mantra is an unrelenting focus on literacy. And we teach the virtues like tolerance, respect, and compassion for others, as well as connecting our students to the community at large. Providing a solid education for 500 kids is hard work, but it's essential work. We run a community school at Patterson School Number 5. We believe that school buildings shouldn't be open for just seven or eight hours a day. So at School 5, it opens early, closes late, and is open on weekends and during the summertime. We provide services not only for students, but for parents and families as well. This past May, we built a playground in just one day at the school. Until then, the thousand students had only blacktop to play on. That day, we recruited over 200 volunteers who came out and who, despite a pouring rain, built the playground from start to finish. The playground is quite a hit, and we see the kids using it seven days a week. We're partners with the Patterson School District in running the Garrett Morgan Academy, which we founded in 2000. It's a school that focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math in a school where, in the last five years, every student has graduated and all but one went on to college, and many with full scholarships at schools like Lehigh and Rutgers and Syracuse. We run a program called Youth Build, which gives high school dropouts a second chance. Our youth builders spend half their time in the classroom working towards their GED and the other half on a construction site, learning marketable skills at the same time they create much needed affordable housing. And in that arena, NJCDC has developed or co-developed over 100 units of affordable housing within our neighborhood. We built housing for youth leaving foster care without a place to go, for the developmentally disabled, for people who are homeless with a mental illness, people like Linwood Brown, who's now formerly homeless and who's making great strides. And I was so grateful for the program that um, they gave me a chance, you know, because uh, when you come from a background where you just was self-destructive, you know, a lot of people don't want to take too many chances with you, but CDC took a chance. This is hard. It's hard because I got to go back to the past. And, and I just wanted somebody to believe in me, <laughs> give me the opportunity to try to reestablish my life and get back on track. And they did that. We not only build housing, but other important community facilities as well. At present, we're transforming a 130-year-old building into a small community center through precise historic preservation methods and with LEED certification for maximum energy efficiency. And we're helping to transform our neighborhood by working closely with city and federal officials to bring a new national park to Patterson surrounding the majestic Great Falls. We've started the Great Falls Youth Corps to help advocate for the park. And as you can see, they're pretty good at it. It's really inspiring to work with these kids. Through programs like the Youth Corps and the Patterson Youth Council, we help teens to realize their full potential. And we engage them in construction activities to build a stronger community. Kids like Dana Lawrence. Different things that like are positive about this is that it's keeping me and a bunch of other teens off of the streets. And I'm happy that somebody like came up with this idea because now it's making my future better. We've taken the kids on trips to places like our nation's capital and also our state's capital in Trenton. Many of these kids have never been outside of Patterson and trips like these help to open up worlds that they've never seen. This year, our kids have been able to meet Governor Christie 
The governor came to NJCDC this past July with Jeffrey Canada, founder of the Harlem Children's Zone. And we were happy that the governor stayed to talk with the kids and that he recognized the work that NJCDC is doing. NJCDC has a record of seizing uh, these kind of innovative partnerships, and they've been successful in bringing together seemingly disparate public and private organizations to make sure that the children are best served. Each day we work with hundreds of kids through the several teen centers we operate at four area high schools. We've come to realize that kids have to deal with what they're struggling with outside the classroom before they can succeed inside the classroom. At these centers, we provide counseling and a host of activities to help teens get the help they need to become successful. The city of Patterson, our home, is a city of great contrast. Home to the beautiful falls, it also suffers from a number of problems common to urban centers across our nation. On top of our day-to-day -day issues, this past summer we encountered Hurricane Irene. Irene turned Patterson upside down. We've worked to help the storm victims, but much more help is needed. Even though the waters have receded, the pain of this brutal storm remains. And we're determined to do what we can to help those who are most affected. But in spite of the problems, hope abounds. Hope is evident in the eyes of the preschoolers and charter school students we serve. Hope abounds in the spirit of those in our residential programs the developmentally disabled, the homeless mentally ill, and youth leaving foster care. Hope abounds in the teenagers learning to be leaders and in the young adults grasping for that second chance. Most of all, hope abounds because of everyone here tonight. It's because of your support that our work is possible. So thank you for your kindness, and I can assure you it'll have a big impact on those we serve.